The curse of creativity. Yeah, you heard me right. Sounds very strange. But that's how I feel like, and I'm a creative person. I'm left-handed and I have ADHD. That's a fantastic combination for some crazy artist. But I'm making this video because, first of all, there's these two misconceptions about creativity. Firstly, that everyone has it. And that's a lie. Not everyone is creative. The same way not everyone is extroverted or introverted, not everyone is creative. It's a trait. And you shouldn't necessarily want to be creative. It's not as cool as you think. And that's where my second point comes from is, it's not this amazing thing that people deem it to be. It's not, it really isn't. There's so many negatives that come with creativity and don't be sad that you're not creative because it actually makes your life so much easier. All right, let me give you some story time. When I was a kid, I really loved Lego. And you're probably thinking, Ra Alex, everyone like Lego. It's, it's just a kid's toy. You're right. But you see, I'm 19 and I still really, really like Lego. To the point that I asked my mom if she can get me Lego for Christmas. And I think most people at the age of 18 don't ask their parents for Lego. I also discovered Eminem. And Eminem has a big significance in for me. He was the guy who got me into music. He got me into songwriting. He got me into playing drums. The guy is basically, he was the foundation for who I am now in terms of a creative person. I appreciate this guy so much because when you, if you was to ever go on a decomposition of his lyrics, it's one of the most impressive things you will ever see. It's absolutely insane. And because of him, I also decided I'll play the drums. And it's been one of the coolest experiences learning to play an instrument. I highly recommend any creative person to go out there and learn an instrument because it's absolutely fantastic. And with that, I started beatboxing, I started freestyling, I got into the whole rap industry. And now I'm 18, I'm doing electrical engineering and I would say I enjoy it. I feel like the Lego aspect comes in nicely with it. <laughs> and I still make music from time to time. And I listen to classical music now as much as I listen to Eminem, which is also very strange, but I have so much appreciation for creativity as much as being a creative person myself. But let me tell you the truth about creativity. It's not all fun and games. Creative people have to be creative because they will die if they won't. They will just collapse. It's just a thing. Like the same way extroverted people have to interact with people to generate this energy that they have or introverted people have to stay in their rooms, be with themselves. A creative person has to be creative unless they're not themselves. And the problem with doing so is you go out there in the world and you try to make creativity or your creative uh, passion a job, right? The truth is only 1% make it. The only 1% only actually make it their dream job. It's hard, it's so hard, it's so competitive, it's so hard to monetize your work. It's such a high risk, high reward system. I mean, you see only the good stories, the amazing ones who made it, but they're all the same, but the end is different. I mean, we all heard stories of artists who, you know, they were sleeping on their dad's couch, then they went to their friend's couch because they got kicked out. Um, they started getting addicted to weed, alcohol, but they somehow pulled it through. One of their songs blew up and they're off and that's the career. But what if your song doesn't blow? What if someone can't appreciate your creativity? You don't make it and it's, and it's so harsh. And another reason why creativity isn't all, all butterflies and beautiful is that for example, me, a creative person, I'm attracted to creativity as well. And there's not much of it. For that reason, I would love to go to a museum with a, with, to take a girl out on a date, for example. And not many girls like going on, to go to an art museum or to a science museum because they're just not interested in it. So 
that's another reason why, you know, creativity isn't all fun and games. But this is not the end. Let me give you some more examples of the harsh reality of being creative. Imagine you're working at a game studio like Activision or Ubisoft and you're a game designer. You design, you make the ideas, the story way and the protagonists for the video game, right? That is probably only going to be worth 5% of the actual video game. The people who make the most money in these game studios are data scientists and software engineers. That's just the real reality of things. Creativity is overall underappreciated. Another example, this one I saw from Jordan Peterson and it's imagine you're writing a book, right? A fictional one, for example. You make a book and it's very unique, but it's so unique that people don't really know what genre it is. This is a problem because no one's going to buy a book. How are they going to buy a book if the book has no genre? But let's put it on the other on, on the other side of the spectrum. What if your book's so useful, has so much good information, but it's just so bland? No one's going to buy it either. A, a good creative person has to figure out the perfect balance between those two. And that is extremely hard. That's why being creative is so hard. Look, I've been a creative person all my life. But the problem with it was I was neighbor, never able to figure out what exactly I wanted to do with it. I was either playing an instrument, making music, building something, but I never could stick to one thing. And this is why I decided I'm going to make a YouTube channel, because it's going to ground me. I'm, I have to stick to this. It's I made an oath to myself. I know I'm bad at what I'm doing right now. I know my editing skills are not the best. I know that I waffle half the time, but this will improve. And I am a conscientious person. I will work hard and I will use my creativity as a positive rather than a negative. However, the reality is most people are not as hardworking as I am. It's just a fact. Most people are lazy. But I hope that explains the, the reality behind creativity. It's not, all, it's not all beautiful and fun and games. But if you guys did... If you guys did like um, this video, I would appreciate if you guys could hear a subscribe button and like because it would just help me up a bit. Thank you.